analyzing argument our next chapter for logical reasoning my dear friends analyzing argument is one of the most common set of questions that is asked in logical reasoning but this is one of the most critical set of questions as well it requires deep concentration to find the gist of any passage and answer the given questions to answer questions on analyzing arguments you have to read the paragraph carefully and determine the main point the author is trying to make what conclusion can be drawn from the argument each paragraph is followed by five statements one statement supports the author's argument better than the others do while you read the entire paragraph you have to find out that particular statement in the paragraph which gives maximum emphasis in fact this is the statement which creates maximum impact to the meaning of the paragraph and most of the times these statements are along with some powerful conjunctions like even if although but etc if i give you an example where a teacher is giving the feedback about the student to his parent then he can say that he is good at studies he scores good numbers he is good at sports but he lacks discipline now in this conversation he is pointing out some of the positive things about the students but the tone of conversation or the design of the conversation is such that that we all know that he is a good student he is good at study that good at sports but the thing is trying to give emphasis is but he is not disciplined so this is the point that he wants to highlight within his conversation so any sensible parent would pick out this point rather than getting influenced by the positive notes about his son this is exactly what we need to do while analyzing an argument we need to find the exact cause of this argument to know it more clearly let's directly now get into some questions question 1 one newer publisher has estimated that 50000 to 60000 people in the united states want an anthology that includes the complete work of william shakespeare and what accounts for this renewed interest in shakespeare as the scholars point out this psychological insight into both male and female characters are amazed even today now if we clearly look at this paragraph then we can see a constant flow of informations throughout the paragraph till we reach to the phrase even today now even today is followed by the statement as scholars point out his psychological insight into both male and female characters are amazed even today now this is something to be noted now let's move to the options and find out the statement that best support this paragraph option 1 shakespeare's characters are more interesting than fictional characters today now in this paragraph we are definitely trying to point out why people are liking shakespeare's characters are writing today but we are never comparing it with other writings or other fictional characters so this statement does not hold then we'll see the option b people even today are interested in shakespeare's work because of the characters now this is something which sounds interesting in fact this statement is bang on to what we need this is clearly stating why even today people are interested in shakespeare's work let's see the next option academic scholars are putting together an anthology of shakespeare's work now this statement is only giving an information without any proper reason so this also does not hold next option new worker have a renewed interest in the work of shakespeare now this is also one of the many informations which is given in the paragraph but it is not again emphasizing on the reason next option shakespeare was a psychiatrist as well as a playwright now this statement is trying to give a unrequired judgment this is out of the context and totally does not support the statement so here as we see the right option which supports the statement is option b now let's see the next example 
one of the warmest winters on record has put customers in the mood to spend money. Spending is likely to be the strongest in 13 years. During the month of February, sales of existing single-family homes hit an annual record rate of 4.75 million. Now this paragraph is talking about warmest winter and its impact on people's mood to spend money. And after that, it is also specifying spending money for buying homes. And here the word or the phrase which gives maximum impact to this paragraph is strongest which is adjoining the statement spending is likely to be the strongest. Now let's see the options. Consumers spending will be higher 13 years from now than it is today. Now this statement is a total crap because the passage is talking about the present but this statement is talking about the future which is 13 years after. That's why it does not support. Then the second option. More people buy homes in the month of February than in any other month. Now as this paragraph is talking about the warmest winter on record, then we are talking about an exclusive event or a special event. But option B is talking about something which happens every year. So this statement also does not support. Next option, during the winter months, the prices of single family homes are the lowest. Now this statement is trying to pass a judgment which is not at all required or nowhere it is mentioned in the paragraph. So let's ignore this statement as well. Then the next option, there were about 4 million homes for sale during the month of February. Now this is an unwanted statistics which only relies on prediction because the passage is saying us about 4.75 record sale but it is not saying that 4 million homes were about to be sold. Next option, warm winter weather is likely to affect the rate of home sales. Now this is something which sounds interesting because it is talking about warm winter weather. It is talking about the effect that it has on rate of home sales. And also it is very similar to the impact statement in the paragraph which is likely to be the strongest. And here it is mentioned likely to affect the rate of home sales. So this is the best statement that supports the paragraph. Then let's see the next example. Generation X are those people born roughly between 1965 and 1981. As employees generation X tend to be more challenged when they can carry out tasks independently. This makes generation X the most entrepreneurial generation in history. Now this statement is talking about generation X and classifying it as the most entrepreneurial generation in the history and giving the reason that they are more challenged when they carry out tasks independently. So most and more are the two words that creates impact in this passage. So this is something which has to be kept in mind. Now let's see the options that describes generation X the best as per the paragraph. Option A, generation X work harder than people from other generations. Now though this statement supports the paragraph, but it lacks most of the information like why they work harder and what makes them to work so hard. So this statement does not support properly. Next option, generation X have a tendency to be self-directed workers. Now this statement is very powerful and the word in this which make it more powerful is self-directed workers. Now these three words self-directed workers explains everything that the paragraph wants to explain. It explains their entrepreneurial quality and their efficiency when they are challenged to take out tasks independently. So this is the statement which supports the most. Then let's see the next option, have an interest in making history. Now this is a heroic statement which comes out of the box and out of the blue and does not match to any of the information which the paragraph want to emphasize. The next option, tend to work in jobs that require risk taking behavior. Now though risk taking supports entrepreneurial mindset, but it is not as strong as the word self-directed. 
so it does not support as much as option B. Next option, like to challenge their boss's work attitude. Now the paragraph is saying they are more challenged when they carry out tasks independently. But it is nowhere saying that they challenge their boss's work attitude. So this is also a misfit. So here the right option is option B. 